Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yeah, oh shit, I just kicked the lights. So for today's video, I thought I would show you what I've been collecting since my allergies have been a pain in the ass and I've not been able to actually record a makeup video. Now I've wanted to record a makeup video um, all week, but I've literally been dealing with my eyes just watering, even just sitting around daily, just watering and then um, they, would, you know, when I put makeup on they wouldn't stay because I would water my eyes like crazy. I've been trying to make a video for makeup for a while. I had a show, two shows last week, and I was going to start doing makeup. And one of them actually recorded a video, um, but I actually didn't finish it because my eyes started watering so bad that I just ruined it by the time I tried to record my intro and my outro. With that being said, I'm really sorry for not putting makeup videos up for you, but I am going to be putting up some now, um, starting with the next week. I'm just going to be putting them out there real fast. I have a lot of stuff. Um, that I'm going to be using, that I've been acquiring and been dying to be able to use. Actually, Saturday wasn't that bad, and that's how I know that I can go back to making videos because Saturday my eyes were good until like midway through the show. So if you would like to see what I've been collecting for the past week uh, while I was not able to do makeup, stick around and keep on watching. Okay, as I said, everybody, I've not been able to do makeup for a week because I seriously, my allergies have been crazy. The weather here in Kansas City has been brutal. By brutal, I mean the weather's been changing every single freaking day, which is just making it really hard for my allergies as somebody who suffers from severe allergies. Um, it's not easy to do makeup when your eyes are just watering before you even touch your eye with makeup. In the meantime, I've been spending money on makeup that I can't use. So, in this video, I just thought I'd talk about the things that I acquired, as well as, bam, I got the September Boxy Charm box in, so we're going to open this up last and see what's inside of it, but in the meantime, let's talk about things that I got that I need to review soon. So, the first thing I got, I think I showed you guys in another video, is I got these three eyeshadow colors from Makeup Geek. Um, they are all in three different green shades because this is for a video of doing my makeup in my husband's favorite color, which happens to be green. Um, and so I got three different green shades from Makeup Geek. Also the first products I've ever ordered from Makeup Geek. So I'm really excited to find out how Makeup Geek stacks up to everything else. I'm really trying to branch out into other things so you're not just seeing me use Ben Nye the whole time, as well as those things will help me get a little bit more recognition as a true beauty guru in the YouTube community and on Instagram. I did not know a lot about Makeup Geek and I just discovered her recently, so I'm really excited to try Makeup Geek. The next palette that I want to review, um, <laughs> this one was controversial. I've had it now for a little while. I've been using it, but I didn't want to do a review on it immediately after the drama broke. The Laura Lee Los Angeles palette, Party Animal palette. Um, I've been using it. You can see they're well used. Well, not well, kind of, there's a little dent in the blues because those are, these three colors on top are the ones I've been using the most. It's very vibrant. Um, I'll wait to the review to tell you my actual thoughts on it and what I think about it. It's dirty because I've been taking it everywhere. Um, but that's another review that's coming up is a Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette. I wanted to wait until the controversy died down so I wasn't just posting the video just up for views. I wanted people to really get my actual opinion of this palette. So we're gonna be putting that up on the channel as well soon. One of the next palettes I got is I went and had picked up one of the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection by Morphe palettes. Um, I got the Ring the Alarm palette. I really wanted the Bling Boss palette, but they were out of that one at Ulta. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna order that one soon. However, this one is really pretty. In the camera, they look like really neutral, but there's like some gold tones and some deeper like, this is almost like a pinkish, reddish, burgundy-ish tone. I only wanted to buy one because if I don't like the way that it works, I didn't want to have four palettes that I'm not going to use. Okay, so the next palette that I got, which is going to go in conjunction with another palette, I went ahead and picked up the, boom, BH Cosmetics Aurora Lights palette. This palette, baby, let me tell you, holy smokes. Bam, look at that palette. This is amazing. So you'll notice in a lot of shimmer shades, there's really not any matte shadows in here. Now you can probably do an eye with all shimmer shades. The bottom row are more pigmented than everything else. That is the Aurora Lights 
palette by BH Cosmetics. That review will be coming soon along with another palette. Now, I've been dying to get this palette ever since somebody told me about it. So the next palette that we're gonna review mixed with the Aurora Lights palette is the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. Oh my God, I saw this palette and knew I had to have these colors. If you watch my videos and you see me use any of my Benai, holy cow, I love me some color. Uh, but this girl, this, I can get my full rainbow eye fantasy with this Take Me Back to Brazil from BH Cosmetics. So these two palettes will be used in the same video because I'm going to start with these matte shadows and then kind of punch things up and accent with the Aurora Lights palette to get some really funky, cool looks. But I'm really excited because I really wanted to get the Take Me Back to Brazil. I know it sounds like, oh, you really want to, why don't you go buy it? Girl, money is tight. Um, I am currently living paycheck to paycheck and I'm not afraid to say that because that's what I do. Um, but things are getting better. I'm stepping my stuff up for shows and getting to more shows to make money, to buy, to fund my YouTube channel until my YouTube channel can fund itself. Regina is helping fund this channel. Are you ready? Hank, ho, let's go. Hey, oh, let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop open the September Boxy Charm box um, because I'm really excited for this. This is my second box with them, and I'm really excited to see what we do. Okay, so we're gonna see what's in here. I already see a palette, bitch. So first thing I see is a Lorac. Los Angeles Pro Liquid Lipstick, Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick. It is in the color Berry Red. I don't know if you can see that, because it's so small, um, but there's a liquid lipstick. It is a full size liquid lipstick. That's why I had to drop Ipsy for BoxyCharm, because I will get the full size. Uh, this is what it looks like in the package. That's incredible. We're gonna just Swatched it on her arm, uh oh. Oh, okay. I'm not mad at that. Next is this Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten. It is in tropical hues. It looks really pretty, y'all. Um, this is the color, this is what it looks like out of the package. I really love it, it looks like a small planet. Uh, this will probably be better on top of makeup, honestly. Yeah, it'd be a cute highlight, honestly. There it is. Up next in the Boxy Charms box, we have a liquid liner. Oh, wait, roll on precision liner. Whoa, by Butter London. Strokes of Wow. Okay. Oh, whoa. Whoa, what is this? Do you see this? What is that? What are those? So it's a roll on precision liner. <gasps> Whoa! Did you see that? Oh my God, hold on, wait a minute. I am shook up right now. What is this, Matt? What is this? What is this witchcraft? So it has a little roller. I don't know if you can see that. It's got a little roller there and you literally just take it and roll out of line. Wow! Okay, wow, I've never seen that. People who have seen that are probably like, bitch, that's normal. I've never seen, that's actually really cool. So we will check and see how that works. Um, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna have to use this on a night that I don't have a show uh, because I don't know how this is gonna work, but wow, that's really cool. So it looks like there are three brushes in here as well. Um, you have, this is like a flat brush that I will probably use for concealer. This is a fluffy looking like a blending brush. And then this one is a square flat brush that we'll probably use for brows. The last thing is actually a palette is the Nightingale Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Palette. This is what the palette looks like. We are gonna open this up together for the first time and see what's in there. Oh, okay. So she's some neutrals, like a really good smoky eye. I can see us having a smoky eye moment there. That's actually, it's really pretty. I mean, it's not stuff that you would typically see me wearing because I'm a, I'm a bright and colorful girl, um, but that's, 
So I gave that a quick swatch. Um, yeah, I can get into a neutral eye with that. I really could. All right, so that is all I have for you right now. Um, like I said, makeup videos are coming. My eyes have stopped bothering me. They have stopped watering, so makeup videos are coming. I might try to film one tonight, depending on how late I want to stay up. I have something else that needs to be done that's really important. I want to get that done and try to get another makeup video recorded tonight so I can post that up this weekend. Actually, probably not this weekend. I'm actually in freaking busy in shows this weekend. So Thursday night in the Lawrence, Friday night I'm at Missy Beast hosting, Saturday I'm somewhere, I'm not gonna say yeah, I just can't say, but Saturday I'm somewhere, I will let you know on Saturday where that is. The last makeup video I put up was a sped up of the cloud eye trend on Instagram. Let me know if you want me to do a full tutorial of that video, because I will if you really want me to. But this retails for $20, the Jaclyn Hills are $15, the Aurora Lights was $18, and the Take Me Back to Brazil was $18. Of course, you know Boxy Charms is $21 for a monthly subscription. Um, these were $6 a piece from Makeup Geek. Um, so, I mean, I think I spent my money well because I was $9 for a shadow at Ben Nye, which is fair for Ben Nye. Ben Nye is incredible, don't get me wrong. However, I really want people to find this channel and find it useful and be able to purchase things that I like. So I don't think I can just use Ben Nye all the time. So I thought we would jump into some other palettes. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you for hanging out with me and sticking in there until I can get my eyes back together so they can stop watering and do this. Like I'm doing this whole video right now and they're wide-eyed and the wind's blowing and nothing's dripping. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you click that subscribe button. Click the little bell to turn on notifications so you know whenever I post, um, which will be daily for a while to make up for all the videos that I missed on posted. Actually, I really only missed last Wednesday. No, I posted Wednesday. Monday this past week. And no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Last Wednesday and this past Monday, so I missed two days. So I will make up for that by posting videos of a lot of looks from this makeup right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you share this with your friends. Tell people to like it, not only like, but interact with the video too, comment, give it a thumbs up, and things like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, and as always, may the fierce be with you.